just wanted to go ahead and say that um right now I'm recording this audio um after these matches have happened. And I kinda just feel like, you know, um wanna talk about the matches a little bit in general. So um I'm fighting this guy that uh comment commented on my last uh jump force video. And uh hang on. I can uh, pull it up real quickly. If I can pull it up real quickly. Um I would I would show uh, a screenshot of it on here. But um no, I'm not gonna do that. It would be simpler if I just uh, type it on here. Show it on here. Um, he goes by the YouTube channel name, uh, Full Cali. And he just said, Yo, bro, I like the con content, and we got similar teams. I wanna know if you, if you wanna, if you, uh, trying to 1v1. And then, you know, um, I just commented back. I was like, Yeah, sure, we can. It, uh, it'd have to be sometime later, though. Cause, um, before that, I was playing, uh, Call of Duty Warzone with the boys. <laughs> and, um, I leave message back, he said, bet bro, uh, what's your PSN so I can add you? And then I, you know, I linked my uh, PSN in the uh, bottom description below. Um, I might start linking my PSN name, my PSN name tag, uh, everything now. Uh, every video now. Just so, you know, if people are ever interested, they can add me whenever. If they ever want to uh, try and uh, match me on there. Which I'll be perfectly fine with. Because it also gives me an opportunity to... Uh, to try and get better without, you know, like, the risk of losing any rank points. Which is, like, a main concern for me because, um... I know, I understand in all my history of playing these fighting games like One Justice and Jump Force and Naruto is that... Usually anymore, rank points don't... They don't really matter anymore. I mean, don't get me wrong, on Naruto and on Jump Force, rank points, they're actually, like, you know, rank. Uh, depending on what rank you are. And the opponent your rank is your the rank your opponent is, and like if you win or lose, like it depends like on how much gets taken off. If they're like a super high tier or like a really low tier, may lose a few points, may lose a, a lot of points, and you know that's just uh, that's just the sort of thing jump force is. And I I like that ranking system a whole lot better than uh, one justice two's ranking system because on one justice two like right now I'm ranked as the number seven 100 percent full cowling. And, um, honestly, I don't think I deserve that. I I don't deserve that ranking at all. Because it's only based on wins. And I'm sure I may have a little bit more losses than wins. And, uh, like, hell, I may even have, like, a whole lot more. I may have, like, lost a whole lot more matches than I think I've won them. And usually it can be due to spammers. Or just, um, a bunch of cheesers. But some most sometimes, and most of the time... It's actually due to someone that's like really good and they're a hardcore veteran at the game. And they actually string together combos and things super nicely. And I get that so much. Because like that's kind of what you want to do. You want to pick a team together and you know you just want to do really good as them. And you want to take them online and you want to prove that you're the best. And that's what everybody wants to do. That's what I want to do. But you know, uh, even sometimes in communities, well mainly the one shows this two community, I get a lot of backlash still. From playing as 100% full cowling, try to ignore it as best as I can. But of course, you can't ignore the many different opinions that you can get on uh, on the character you play as. And um, that's just something I gotta deal with on my own sometimes. It's totally okay. There's gonna be a whole lot of different people with a whole lot of different opinions. There's gonna be a whole lot of different people with different playstyles and things like that. And you just gotta, you know, learn and adapt the best you can. And man, I'm really getting away from the force over here again into the Watch Justice 2. I guess I just want to like spend a little bit of this video also talking about Watch Justice 2 and Jump Force's like comparison because I like Jump Jump Force a little bit more than Watch Justice 2 for competitive reasons and for ranked reasons. You know, the ranking system, the point system, it's you know, it's it's all there, and I like it just the way it is. The, the combat mechanics on Jump Force can get abused a little bit by some veteran players or some spammers. Usually people that use their CAC a lot or a specific character or specific team supports that they put together. But sometimes in general it's just from me losing to a really good player and that's totally understandable. Now I like it when I lose to someone that's really good because it gives me the chance to try and learn from them and get better. 
know, learn from my mistakes, see what I can improve upon, and things like that. And that's what this, uh, these matches allowed me to do, and I appreciate this guy hanging in there, because, um, because on here, um, before, before I started playing as my hero team, I was playing as Jotaro, Kinsharo, Kinshiro, and Dio, and we played three matches, I won the three matches, and then, um, he accidentally left it because he pressed the wrong button, he was like, hey, um, invite me back, so we can play again, I was like, alright, and I was like, I was just my main team now, because I was done warming up, and he was like, alright, so, you know, this is when I, uh, switched to my main team, then we, uh, we played, um, uh, I'm not good at we played seven more matches as this, as these characters, so then, um, yeah, I won. Now, I'll go ahead and say that I, uh, I won these matches that we played, and there was so, so many times that he was actually close to, like, beating me, and I was a little nervous, because, um, the way he plays, it kind of, it started getting different later on in the other matches, like, he started adapting to me, and that was really good, because as a player, that's what you want to do, you want to, you want to learn from your opponent and get better, and I think that's what, um, I think that's what he did really good on, was him adapting. And it, it was really good. He was. There were a few times where I was like, "Yo, dude, what the hell? Uh, I was not expecting him to do that." And you know, some good combos is all my and the strength abilities with uh, Bakugo. And then there were like sometimes he totally threw me out of the loop, or I'd be attacking him and like he has his uh, awakening on, but I'd be like, "There's no way he's just gonna throw his ultimate." Because like there'd be a few times where he didn't even awaken and threw his ult at me, and I was like, "Okay, yeah, I definitely was not expecting that." Because I was like. Cause I was thinking like most people they save their ults for awakening so they can do a lot more and then he threw me out of the loop one time because he just like pulled his ultimate out of nowhere and I was like okay yeah I was not expecting that then that's good that's what you want to do you want to you want to do the unexpected on jump force if you want to get that jump on them and you're throw your enemies way off don't be like yo dude what the hell what is he doing because like they're trying to look for the most logical or the most like expecting thing to do to try and catch you and he did some things I was not expecting and he did it up pretty well um what else is there to talk about um I also just want to say that this guy is a, a good sport in general um he kept uh, he kept accepting every rematch that I did with him and it was pretty good um he definitely did put up a, a good fight against me he did, he did some cool combos I wasn't expecting. Um, I think at one point I started pushing him way more. Like I started being more offensive, and then um, and then I was guard pressuring him. And then I can see how I lose some matches now because um, I was doing to him what some people did to me, and that was just offensive, offensive, offensive. And I was guard pressuring him as hard as I could. And I think that was throwing him out of the loop a little bit because I'm actually getting some grabs and some uh, guard breaks without him knowing. And yeah, that's what I'm, that's just what I experienced a few times. So I was just trying to implement that, and I did okay. No, um, see, if there was anything I had to say to him, if you watch this video, is that um, is that if you do start guard pressuring your opponent, um, string together a few same combos. And especially if they're awakened, um, keep attacking them as much as you can. Don't give them a little bit of space to breathe. And definitely don't try to charge up and attack to break their guard. Because if you do that, then um, they're going to stop guarding and do their ultimate immediately. It's happened to me a few times. So you kind of just want to try and grab them if you can. Or just keep pressuring them as hard as you can. Uh, you don't want to let them breathe. Because if you do, then, uh, then they're going to come right back at you. But like I said before, this guy, he did he did pretty good in general. He did really good. He called out his supports on uh, perfect timing. And that always caught me off guard. I was like, oh dude, I thought I blocked that. I was like, oh dude. I was like, shoot, this could kill me if I'm not careful. Oh uh, yeah, dude, look at that. Um, so I talked about jump boards for like 10 minutes already. Um, what is this there What is this there talk about? I want to talk more about Winchester's 2, but there's not really too much to say about it that I've already said before. It's just, um, I love playing Winchester's 2, not for its competitiveness, but 
just because I'm a fan of the show, and like, you know, I want to try and play as these characters that I adore so much, that I admire, like, you know, Deku, Mario, Night Eye, Overhaul, you know, things like that, just because I'm a fan. And, um, I can see why there's, like, no official, like, uh, tournament thing for, uh, one just doing that kind of thing. Because that game is not as well as balanced as Jump Force is. No, don't get me wrong. The, each game has its fair share of spammers and cheesers. But, um, in one just is two, it's, it's really hard to get by because, um, for one, you can do your, you know, your ultimate attacks whenever you want if you just build up enough meter. And two, you have triangle and circle that are your special powers, your quirk abilities. You can just press them whenever you want without having to charge them up like on here on Jump Force. You can just do whenever you want. You can just spam that a whole lot easier. And, uh, uh, I don't know. There's many things that one Justice 2 can improve upon. And I'd like to see it improve over the years. If they make a one Justice 3, which I kind of hope they do. Because um, I still want to see more characters and stuff like that making it to this game. I, I kind of wish it was made by Cyber Connect too. The same people that helped make the Ninja Storm series. Because I feel like that uh, it'd become as great as that if it had like a little bit more intuitive controls like uh, the Storm series did. And let's see. Um, yeah, it's just. But still, the competitive between these two games are completely different. Jump Force is there all the way with competitiveness and the rank matches. Monstrous 2 isn't really there because you only earn rank points if you win and you don't lose any at all if you like if you or queue a match or if you just lose it, you don't lose any kind of rank, you can only, you know, gain it if other people just um if other people just get more points than you or if you just haven't played for a while. That that kind of thing. No. The game also has a penalty system, just like Jump Force does, but I think it rarely kicks in most of the time, unless someone's just a hardcore rage quitter, and they leave matches like 3 4 7 then they'll finally get a penalty. But, um, I don't know, I, just as a 100% player, um, I know a whole lot of people probably listen to what I have to say, because appearance-wise, people look at who's the most OP looking character in their movesets and um you know his his circle ability is comparable to All Might's uh, Rabba's no move all for one you know the mashing this kind of thing and I know if you're a Jump Force player and you haven't like played or just this two at all then you're like dude what the hell is this guy talking about <laughs> that's completely understandable it is understandable all the way because I just totally lost track of talking about Jump Force I guess this video is just more like a filler story. Like, if this was an anime plot, and this is just a filler side story. It's like most of the episodes in Bleach, because I heard that there's a lot of episodes in Bleach that became filler because, like, the anime couldn't keep. Or, no, no, because the show could keep up with the manga so fast that it didn't have time to produce more chapters and episodes. So, I heard that it got, like, a lot of filler episodes because of it. Um, God, um, I need some water from talking so much. Jesus Christ, I'm running my mouth dry. Um, God, I don't know what to say. I think, I think that's about it, honestly. If there's any more things that I need to point out, then I guess I will. Um, but still, like I said before, total, like, cheers to this guy for, uh, sticking in there, rematching me ten times in total. He was a really good sport. He's a genuine good player. I guess I just might have had like a little bit more experience in him. Because he was only C3 and I was B4. Um, he probably could have even started this game before me and I just... And I probably just had like more experience on uh, how to combat uh, players like him or players similar to him. Um, I don't know what to really say. But um, like, like I said, I'd just like to say uh, thank you dude for uh, re rematching me as many times as you did um, give me a chance to um, look and see what I can do to improve myself and how to get better and I appreciate that and yeah that's about it um, I'm lit, um, I might let this run for a little bit more this might be the final match because like, I don't want to show all of this and 
like it just takes forever to upload because as far as it looks right now, it's looking to be 25 minutes long. And that's that's gonna take way longer than it usually should. And I don't want there to be like an accidental interruption throughout the night and it just doesn't upload. So um, I might stop it after this fight. And if I do do that, then I just want to say uh, thank you guys for watching this far and listening to me right on about jump force and everything like that. And I appreciate you ever watching my videos. Which I think is this one person from this amino community that I am, that I'm in. And if you are that guy that still watches my my dumb, stupid videos, then I appreciate that. Um, honestly, it makes me feel good, and other people feel good whenever they know that they're accepted to be watched, even just by one person. Because it gives us that hope, or that feeling knowing that, you know, our work went into something, and someone actually watched it, and it paid off a little in the end. Because I'm only doing YouTube I'm trying to see if I can get people to not like my stuff. I don't plan on making money off of it. I really don't. Because uh, all the videos I made, AMVs and stuff like that, and I know they got all demonetized. Most of them, uh, some that I've tried to upload before got uh, copyright claims by Toho for the uh, anime scenes used, or sometimes even music did. And you know, that honestly just sucks sometimes. And, Thanks for sticking in there. And that's it. See you in the next video. Bye.